Good morning, everyone. Um, it is Friday. Friday, Friday. This week went really fast since everyone, or most of us, had Monday off. I have been a day behind all week long, thinking that Tuesday was Monday, and yada, yada, yada. Anyway, um, I wanted to show you something I made for a uh, swap I'm in with Deb. Uh, I think I think her YouTube is Texas Woman. I'm not exactly sure, but creating the crafty life, we had to do an altered frame in five by seven. So this is what I made for Deb. Basically, I have to tell you that I took inspiration for this frame from X Ex Calibration Linda. Hi, Linda. Oh, hello, hello. Hope you're feeling good today, honey. Um, anyway, she did a um, video where she did, I think, four beautiful frames, and I just fell in love with them. So when this swap came up, uh, I thought, okay, I'll give it a shot. So um, this is after Linda's, not as nice, and I'm not as talented as Linda is, but anyway, hopefully Deb likes it. Um, we just had to do a, a 5 by 7 so I just got a frame and painted it a pale pink and put some lace and trims around it um, just a couple of flowers and appliques and this is from Lady's Diary that I just um, put um, angel dust over with some glimmer mist and um, this is a crocheted frame and put one of the Lady's Diaries just a flower here from guess who? Leslie hi Leslie and um, it's just some bling at the bottom, a stick pin, and just some more bling here and some flowers. So this is going out today with some other stuff for Deb, um, along with this and some other things. But these are the thread spools I've been making, and I just wanted to show you something that I actually, I want to see if I can find another one real quick, maybe, where you can see it clearer, maybe not. <laughs> Okay, um, when you roll, when you roll, this this one, I really didn't need it, but I don't know what she's going to, Deb is going to keep on this, so she might put something skinny like this. So actually, I, I might even reverse these before I send this out, put the thicker one up top in here. But what I've been doing lately is at the very bottom of these, I've been putting some um, beaded flat back pearls because what happens, and so here's one, and you can see this here. What happens is when you're um, doing this is the trim wants to fall off the bottom a lot so I decided to try and do something so I went back to a lot of mine and put the little flat back pearl at the very very bottom and that stops the yarn, uh, not yarn, the, the lace from falling off the edge. So that's what I did with this one. And again I think I'm going to reverse these and put the fat one up on top but I didn't know what I was going to put on here when I had actually found this. So, anyway, that's that. And um, her box is over here with some other goodies, but I'll leave that as a surprise for, for Deb. And that'll ship out today. Um, also, I stopped by Joann's. I had to get a um, some natural muslin. And when I was there, they still had some trims that were on sale. And this is the bullion kind of fringe. Anyway, this was ten ninety nine, and they had it on clearance for a dollar a yard. And it's like a, I guess a goldy tan. Anyway, it's just close to, to two yards, and so for two dollars, I certainly know I'll be using this. I love this kind of trim. When I was a, when I was a kid, my mother and father actually had a living room set, and um, all around the very bottom of it was this gorgeous, gorgeous trim. I remember, and her. I remember her. Uh, the set was brocade and very thick, and the fabric was beautiful, sort of shiny, and I don't know. But anyway, so hers were. I think it was burgundy, if I remember correctly. But it was beautiful stuff, and I remember that the cushions on the chairs and the sofa were feather cushions um, down actually and so when you sat on them you just went Poof. and when you got up um, my mother was always like make sure you fluff the cushions up so you had to literally you know take the cushions and fluff them back up and when you went in the room they looked like big fat sort of 
bulls sitting on the on the sofa, but very comfy. Um, also, when I was at Joanne's, they also had some other stuff on clearance, some other trims, and I picked up what they have because I figured I would share. Um, and again, look at old lady. <laughs> Uh, the clearance first clearance price was ninety a dollar ninety seven. The second clearance price was ninety seven cents, and I think they were two ninety nine. Let me see. No, they were three ninety nine each. And let me just show you one. And and I'm not a big brown person, and this is a real deep charcoal chocolate brown. But you know sometimes you do stuff for people who like the darker colors and it's nice to have something to go along with it. Anyway, um, when I got up to the register to pay for them, I thought they were going to be 97 cents each. They were actually 50 cents each. So these were only two dollars and then yesterday Joann's had a 15 percent off coupon everything you bought including clearance. So um, there was even 15 percent off the 50 cents. So that's cool and nice to be able to you know, throw in a swap. Then I got some happy mail. Sorry, I keep turning around. I should have had this in front of me. Um, Melissa from Creating Crafty Life, and I'm not going to mess up her name again because I just messed her name up so terribly, um, sent me a little package yesterday. And first of all, there's a card in here that she sent to me. And... She sent me two of her cards. She has a blog, which I will put the blog down below. It's Whimsical Wishes and Delightful Dreams. And she has little challenges and stuff on her blog all the time. It's really, really, really pretty. So um, I will, again, put that in the description so you can check out her blog. Now, when everybody had these frames, I searched and searched my Michael. I went back like 10 times looking for this size frame in pink and never found it. I never told anybody I was looking for it. And lo and behold, this came from Melissa. I was so happy. And then she sent me some beautiful pink ribbon. And with me, I love ribbon and pink. So you know that's something I will use a lot of. And this is funny. This is a letter D for my last name. And I actually have the letter J already. Exactly the same. Um, somewhere in my stash. So now that I have both, I will, you know, hang this from somewhere. Somewhere in my, in my craft room. So very cool. And then she made this. And it is absolutely awesome. It is like a collage, and it's on, I guess, a piece of wood. I love this. And look at this. And I just love it. And I actually have a spot over by where I sit in my recliner, and I have small things like this hung up around me because I love to be surrounded with the creations you all make. And so that is going over there. And I already have something in mind for this pink frame, so thank you so much, Melissa. You're so, so sweet. Okay, and then my wonderful sweet friend, Lisa, Lisa Wade, LA Wade 407 on YouTube, sent me another package. I sent her out a little package the other day, and lo and behold, she sent me one. I can't catch up. <laughs> I try and try and try and try. Oh my God, she is so sweet and so generous. And you know, I've told you before, if you want um, fabrics and, and crafty items, she has a lot of things um, in um, her eBay store. And again, I will put Lisa's link to her eBay store. But uh, in, just in case you just want to go and look, it's L.A. Wade 407. And you can look her up. Now look at this. It, this is... Oh, you... <sighs> Oh, I love it. I just love it. Okay, I'm just going to start from the first one. Beautiful, beautiful, all embroidered. And she has these in her store. Please go and look this out up. Okay, beautiful mannequin with the thread. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, measuring tape here. Look at this one with this girl with fabric around a mannequin. Pictures that are like on the wall for inspiration. This one, um, hopefully you can tell, is a zipper, 
and um, there's a button and thread spool and pin cushions and even the kind of thread that go on, goes in a serger, little stick pins, gorgeous. I love the little button there. And then look at this one. This is actually like a cutting mat and a rotary cutter. How cool is this? I'm going to make some pillows out of these, and I'm going to put them on eBay. <laughs> I might even make a pillow um, out of one of these and put it for my giveaway, which should be pretty soon, guys, because um, I think I'm at 1,068 subbies, and my giveaway, I will start my giveaway when I'm at 1,077. And again, all you'll have to do is just be a subby. Please stay a subby if you want to get in on the giveaway, and leave a comment. That's it nothing else okay anyway back to these gorgeous um, blocks here is a vintage style sewing machine a pair of scissors those are so cool another a different version of the zipper with a pin cushion and a button I love this um, this is a newer sewing machine an embroidery one that you can see because it's got the long arm very cool um, a serger, see with all the little threads, and last but not least, um, a pin cushion and some spools of thread with a sewing needle and some stick pins. Awesome! I think I will. Oh wait, I, well, I'm not done. I'm so sorry. Here's more. If they had slipped aside, scissors with a pattern, tape measure going across. So awesome. And then lastly, this one here has got regular thread spools, serger thread spools, a thimble, um, another thread spool, the sewing needles, stick pins, a button. So cute. I love it. So these are all from my sweet friend Lisa. Thank you, Lisa. She is so, so sweet and kind. And she's very shy. And she did her first video over the weekend. And you have to go. And I'll put... Um, her stuff down there. She's Maggie. I can't remember it off the top of my head, but I will. Please go visit um, her first video. Leave a comment and sub to her. Um, she did a great, great job. And what do you see the beautiful mini album? She was in a swap for Creating the Crafty Life also. And so she did a video of the um, mini album she created. And then, if that wasn't enough, there's more. Look at these flowers. I love this. Look at these. Is this not cool with all the different colors of stick pins? Love it. And then look at this trim. Is this not the coolest? She has this in the back of her mini album. You'll see the back of the mini album or the, or the spine. It's just covered in this gorgeous rosette trim. And then there's two packages here, which I have to open, so let me do this first, really quickly. She made me some flowers. She makes really good flowers, and um, I just love them. I love, love, love. First of all, look at this. And you know what? I have a feeling, knowing her, she made this, because I think, um, oh, I can't remember, someone, a couple, Fiona um, Jennings and, and a few other people. I actually have one of these and if I could, the mini scrapper um, shows how she made these and she sent me some once before. In fact, I think I've used them all up. But I love this. And then here's a small one with a little pearl, a white one, double one with pink bling, and then a big one with another small and then the beautiful um, pink pearl. Oh, sorry. Should... Okay, and now two packages. First of all, look at this red, white, and blue, and look at the button, or or I don't know. I look feels like I think it was a button on here. Oh, I hate to even open her stuff up. It's always so sweetly packaged, and so I try to reuse the the stuff she sends me. So if you get this envelope back with something on it, <laughs> it originally came from Lisa. Oh my gosh, and now here's a little bag inside. Ay, ay, ay. Lisa used to make quilts, so she's a good sewer. How awesome is this? Look at this bag. Oh, wow. This was her stick pin challenge. I bet you she did, and 
she sent me. Oh my gosh. I hope you can see these, how wonderful these are. Red, white, and blue, and even the flag. Oh, Lisa, I love this. Now I have to think of what I'm going to do with this little bag because it's so cool. And the flower. You know the flower I'm going to be reusing. Okay, last but not least. Uh, sorry, sorry. Ay, ay, ay. See, look. And again, you open more stuff. And again. Oh, my goodness. Look at how she's made this little box. And more stick pins. Oh, these are wonderful. Is this not... Look at the presentation. My gosh, Lisa. A little Velcro. Oh, my goodness. I love this. Um, I just wanted to show you. I was working on another one of the little cups because I'm going to be putting a lot of these things like in swaps and stuff for people. Anyway, this one's not finished. It doesn't have its handle on it yet. And um, But look at how cute and easy and fast. So it will have a, um, a little handle on it. I haven't decided. I was thinking I might put little pink pearls on this one as a handle. And then, of course, I'll put tulle on the inside. So, okay, guys, I guess that's it. Thank you again for watching. Um, have a wonderful weekend coming up. Lisa, Melissa, thank you so very, very, very much. Um, remember, no biting, no fighting. Be kind to each other. Um, like I say, give a hug, share the love. Thank you again for watching. Uh, I guess that's it. Pinkalicious hugs. Ciao, ciao, ciao.